Hello class! Welcome to today's math lesson. Today we are going to be doing two things with clocks. One, we are going to be writing all of the numbers on our clock. And the other thing we're going to be doing is determining how much time has passed between hours. Well, let's take a look at our clock so that we can get a good idea of how to write the numbers on our clock. What number's on the top? It is 12. And what about the one on the very bottom? It is, it's the number six. And on this side we have nine, and over here we have three. I would like for you to count all of the numbers with me. We'll start at the top, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then twelve again. When you practice writing your numbers, remember to have twelve on the top and six on the bottom. Hmm. I wonder, could you tell me what time our clock says? It is nine o'clock. Well, what time is it now? Our clock shows 10 o'clock. Hmm, it used to show 9 o'clock, and now it shows 10 o'clock. How much time has passed? One hour. When we were at 9 o'clock and moved to 10 o'clock, we went around the clock once, and that shows one hour. Hmm, this is 10 o'clock. We'll do 11. 12 o'clock. How much time has passed between 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock? Well, we can count with our fingers. 10 o'clock, 11, 12. It was two hours. Hmm. I'm going to show you a one o'clock on our clock. We have one o'clock and now we're going to go around. We're going to go around once, twice. How many hours lapsed between one o'clock and three o'clock? Two, because we went around two times. We moved from one o'clock to two, three, it was th two jumps, one, two. All right, our clock is showing three o'clock. How much time has passed when I show four o'clock? One hour has passed when we go from three o'clock to four o'clock. Hmm, what if we go from four o'clock all the way to six o'clock? How many hours have passed? Two hours. Well done. Now, as a bonus question, do you remember how many minutes are in one hour? Did you say 60? There are 60 minutes in an hour. Do you remember how many seconds are in a minute? It's 60 again. Well done. And how many hours are in one day? Now I'm going to give you a little hint. Our clock goes all the way to 12 and we go around the clock all the way around. The, the hour hand goes all the way around the clock twice. So our our day has not 12 hours, but 24, because 12 plus 12 is 24. Well, we're going to go into our classroom and take a look at writing the numbers on a clock. Join me. All right, class, let's take a look at numbering a clock face. The top of our clock always has the number 12, and the very bottom is half of 12, or 6. I like to put in the numbers 12 and 6 to make sure that I don't skip any along the way. After 12 is the number 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. <gasps> you see, I have the number 6 there, so I know that I didn't skip any. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have seven, eight, 
9, 10, and 11. And then what number comes next? It's the number 12. When you're numbering your clock, you remember to put the number 12 at the top and the number 6 at the bottom. Hmm. Sometimes I even remember that the 9 is on this side and the 3 is on the other side. When we write our numbers in this direction, we are remembering that this is clockwise or the way that the clock goes around. Make sure that you have your 12 at the top and your 6 at the bottom. Class, thank you so much for reviewing clocks with me today. I hope that you had a wonderful time and that you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.